Koala bears rape Post each other. Clarity. What? Fruit gets mushrooms, baby. You can put a rife machine they in are my ass riddled if it will with, get rid of the ass. Consume as much food as possible. Rabbit, dude. <laughs> so, so lazy. You, to Australia, you keep so saying you're woman. By a with those are only koala. options. Shut right. up! Shut up! <laughs> uh, something's wrong with you, man. Hey, everyone. Just want to welcome you to a brand new moment in the Godspeed podcast. Finally, the checks have started rolling in. Thank you, Happy Nuts. You know, we've been shouting you out for for months now. And um, the checks are flowing, right? Uh, I got a brand new setup here, uh, here at the Godspeed Podcast Studio. And um, we're looking forward to more sponsors. So, you know, anyone who uh, wants to sponsor our our podcast and like share and subscribe with your friends um you know if we believe in the product we will uh accept your sponsorship and if we don't we'll tell you to go fuck yourself because that's what we do on that note <clears throat> can we take a second to talk about coffee you know i'd like to put in the comments below how you like your coffee but there are only two real answers here one is piping fucking hot vanilla. Sure. Maybe a touch of cream. Maybe, I mean, I do sugar free, but maybe you want a little sugar to sweeten up, but piping fucking hot. And the other option is ice cold. Anything in between either of those options is unacceptable. And you should probably be shot if you tolerate that because uh it's just wrong for so many reasons do you get in a lukewarm bathtub no you get in a pool or you get in a hot tub you know lukewarm shower do you wash your dishes with lukewarm water i hope not you wash your dishes with hot water you dirty bastard pool obvious you want it cold when it's hot out hot tub when it's cool or if you're a weirdo, you get in the hot tub when it's hot. I don't fucking know. But you never get in a lukewarm anything. So if you hand me a coffee that is lukewarm, I might be liable to come across counter at you. I don't know. It's a lukewarm coffee. What do you expect? So all you blue-haired hippies, all you Starbucks baristas and barista bros, whatever the fuck you call yourself these days, God damn it, get the coffee right. We want it hot or cold. I remember way back, uh, this reminds me of the time I worked at Dunkin' Donuts way back in the day with one of my best friends, Kenny. Kenny, rest in peace. Too soon. There'd be a guy who'd come in every morning, and he wanted a small coffee, one cream. And I'd offer him every day. Sir, would you like uh, sugar with that? And he'd say, sugar will make you gay. That's what he told us. To our face every day. This was a different time. You can't say that now. Or maybe you can. I can't. I can't tell people that. But maybe you can. And if you do, good for you. But I can't do that. So, you know, he thought sugar would make you gay. Come to find out, sugar will make you fat. And, you know, if fat makes you gay, then I guess he was right. But I, I'm not gay or if I am kind of fat. So what the fuck? What does he know? And I do like a little non-sugar sweetener in my coffee. Uh, I do have to say, I don't, I don't get too much uh, fast food anymore. I'm trying to be a better human, I guess, for myself. Um, but those of you who work fast food, have fun. Why are you assholes? Why is every ass? Why is every drive-through attendant just like having the worst day ever? Make, make, make a game out of it. Every time. Kenny. Kenny was hilarious. He'd be like, welcome to Dunkin' Donuts. What can I do you for? Every fucking day. I would laugh. He would laugh. person in the car would be confused. And that's funny. Being confused is funny. I don't care. I don't care what you think. I'm enjoying myself. You should enjoy yourself, too. Cuss me out through the drive-thru. I don't care. I'm getting McDonald's. You think... You think if I'm putting that in my body, do you think I care how I'm talked to in the drive-thru? No, cuss me the fuck out. Who the fuck cares? Have fun. Just don't do anything wrong to my food. Okay? 
please leave that alone. But talk to me any way you want to. I think I'll 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 remember that day. Shouldn't I rem- shouldn't I have something to remember other than the diabetes and clogged arteries from McDonald's? You should fucking make the my, make my day memorable. Or is that Burger King? Have it your way. It's besides the point. Do something different. Thank you. Welcome to McDonald's. Can I take you? No. What you what you want, bitch? I'm gonna be like, oh, okay, chicken nuggets, motherfucker. And then we exchange money and you give me the nuggets, and then we're on our way. Easy peasy. I remember that day for the rest of my life. I'm cool with uh being pleasant. My pleasure. Was it though? Was it your pleasure? That being said, kudos to Chick-fil-A. This this is the day they earned my business forever. I was uh picking up Chick-fil-A for a coworker. And they wanted a, they ordered a lemonade. Go to the drive through, grab their lemonade. I'm a football field down the parking lot away from the Chick fil A. I just happened to look in my rear view mirror. What do I see? Chick fil A worker, full speed sprinting right at me. So I, I hit my brakes. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I'm confused. Um, he pulls up and he goes, sir, your lemonade. And I said, I got my lemonade, bro. But thank you. He was like, no, no, that one's sugar free. And we switched. I I looked around. I had a $20 bill. I said, that's for you, dog. He's like, I, I can't accept it. I said, you're going to. So he takes the 20. But the moral of the story is. Who the fuck would have known it was the sugar-free lemonade? Maybe the person drank it. wasn't my lemonade. I don't really give a fuck. But this person cared. He sprinted a football field to get switch out the lemonades. That's that's service. That's service. So, just to recap, ice cold coffee or piping hot, your choice. McDonald's, step it up. Be true to who you are. Nobody goes there for customer service so let your employees be free fuck can i get you double quarter pounder with cheese now that you mention it that's what i'd like hell yeah and then you know i guess chick-fil-a stay the same you guys rock except for the anti-gay shit but who cares all right well that's enough for me. I hope you enjoy the new studio. Uh, I'll see you on uh, a Monday coming up here. Maybe. If I finally do some fucking work, Joe does everything for us. Let's be honest. We all know that. Anyways, Godspeed. Rap style is warped. Running out the morgue with your damn mother's curl cord and corp.